Hello everyone, in today's video we will be breaking down this reel. Do you think the software you use defines your video editing skills? Let me tell you a secret, it does So let's get started. First I will bring in a white color mate like this. Now if we see, now if we see we have this animation first, the text one, like this one. So how can we create this? I will just add a text layer right here and we have the text do you think and a bit of opacity and position keyframing so i will type in do you think like this one go to effects control and simply place it like this to the timeline now it's looking good now well, what i will do i will add a position and an opacity keyframe like this and i will move them as my final position right here at the start i will just bring this down a bit and the opacity at the start will be zero so it will be giving us this animation if you want you can just simply type in do you think with three separate layers and simply animate them one by one i will just select all these and right click them and then just press ease in so this will be our animation first like this you can just type in three layers and you know, one will appear after another and if we move forward we have this animation the software so we have this animation the software the text will be same and this will be an opacity and first i will just make sure to take this as an example i will cut this right here and i can just use the software color to just type in software make sure to go to essential graphics and i will make sure to add a simple font to it like i will use this font for example and i will change the color of it to this this is looking good i will go to effects control and simply just make it like this i will just delete the position properties from here and now i will add this after effect logo to here and go to effects control simply just bring it up and just place it like this one make sure the ae is uh, visible like this now for this animation i will just make sure to cut it here select these both two layers and nest them into a sequence and once this is done it will be add position property and move as our final position and it will come from the bottom so i will just right click and then right click on the keyframes then and ease in them so it will be giving us this animation you can just simply go here and adjust these graphs as well if you want to i will just bring it down and bring it here so that the start the animation will be fast and then it will gradually be slow like this now if we move forward we have this animation so how can we create that first i will just simply <coughs> select the pen tool and make a, a make sure no layer is selected then select a pen tool and i will create a, a random line like this one make sure it's straight like this one now i will go to essential graphics and i will disable the fill enable the stroke and the stroke will be approximately the color will be black and the stroke width you can just simply place it like this now if we move i will just simply increase the white background so it will be here the uh, this one go to facts control and if we see this whole sequence will be moving to the other side so i will cut this layer here and i will delete the position keyframes add a position keyframe and move a few frames simply and just simply just drag this whole frame or i will just make sure to copy these layers go back and i will simply just paste them like this and from here i will just make sure to add position keyframe to this one and for the lower one i will add a position keyframe now i will move here and bring this to like here and i now i will select the other one and bring this to like this so the both will give us this animation now i will bring in this to the timeline like this and make sure to 
scale the line up if you want to now i will make sure to uncheck this uniform scale go to anchor point and i will set the anchor point to here now i will add a scale width keyframe like this and at the start it will be like this and at the start it will be zero so it will be giving us this animation if we see i can just simply place it here and it will be giving us this animation right here you can just simply go to opacity and i will add a free mask and around this mask and right here simply drag these like this and i will make sure to bring it here and now i will go to mask feather and i will increase the mask feather to something like this make sure to just play with the mask expression as well so the whole animation it will be giving us this animation you can simply just adjust few things when you are creating professionally i am just i am just uh, showing you how you can create certain animations now if we move forward but the one thing i forgot we need to keep this here so i will just go to after effect at our final position and i will make sure this is here and the other frame will move out so you can just select and then just ease in them like this this is looking good now if we move forward we have this background coming so how can we create that then this text so i will just go to here and i will select all the layers and nest them into a nested sequence i will cut the nested sequence here and go to effects control simply just add a position keyframe and this will move here and i will bring in a black background like this and make sure to place it here go to effects control simply just make it to the middle and add a position keyframe move this as our final position and simply just move it to the right side of the screen so the whole animation will be looking like this i will just bring the keyframes closer to make the animation faster and i will just select them and right click and simply just ease in them so this will be like this and for the text animations how can we create that first i will create this animation the highlight animation make sure no layer is selected i will select this rectangle tool and make a shape um, like this go to essential graphics make sure to disable the stroke enable the fill um, like this go to fax control simply just drag it to the middle make sure to just like this i now i will set an uncheck uniform scale set an anchor point to make sure to drag it from here where you want the animation to be started i will add a scale width keyframe moves at as our final position and at the start it will be zero so it will give us this highlight animation i will just make sure to bring these closer and right click them again and just ease in like this and if we move we want to add this text and this text this will appear from here so i will use opacity and we will create two text layers one for white and for this so i can show you a simple method i will type in my text right here i will make sure to type in video editing and i will go to essential graphics scroll down and simply just make sure the color is white and the text isn't typed so i will and i will go to here and simply just make sure so i will add a new text layer to the timeline like i will make this as nested sequence and then just type in video editing like this one so our color will be white and black so how can we create this i will move to our final position where this ends and i will go to essential graphics scroll down and make sure this is white like this and go to effects control and just make sure to first select it and then i will change the color to white uh, like this go to effects control and simply just zoom it wherever you want you can just 
change the font as well if you want to i will just not change it so the text should be something like this and i will go here and select it select the shape layer and i will just drag it right like this and so it will the text will be like this now to change the color of the half of the part i will just make a duplicate of this and go to essential graphics select the layer and in this one i will just select the text tool first and i will delete this part of the text and for this one i will select it and i will delete the other part of the text right here now just simply go to facts control and just drag it um, like this so this is good i will select the whole and go to essential graphics simply just change the color of this to black so our whole animation is done and for next we you can create this as same and if we move forward we have this animation a secret and then this blur and then highlight animation so how can you create that i will show you using this one so i will cut these layers i will delete the nested sequence for now and i will delete the color mate too and for this one i will just show you delete this too so this is our main text i will simply just bring it to the middle i will just select both nest them into a nested sequence and if we see we have a bit of zoom back for the uh, other text so i will add a scale keyframe and at uh, at start it will be the same and if we move it will be like this one and i will go to effects and i will search for blur apply a gaussian blur to it go to effects control and simply just increase the gaussian blur so it will be giving us this animation and you can just simply create this text like the other one we created so that's all for today if you found this helpful i make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye